in Film C Studio. We are super excited at GDC 2024 and showcase our demonstration of Rhapsody of Tanya Mel and local IOM. So here is a solution reference design to run the Tanya Mel models on our Vision AI sensor and to send the critical frame to the NVIDIA JSON and the processing on the Lava 70B. And then it can be integrated into the NORAD and the Home Assistant for the applications. Here you can see on the monitor we have Lava is running at Jetson AGX only. On the right, you can see the CPU and the GPU consuming. We are using Lava 13B and the GPU is full occupied, which means if you deploy the Lava on the Jetson, it can run, but it will be 27, always live. That is, you will have the, the heavy workload risk. In vision wise, we are leveraging Tanya Mel to set only critical frame to the immediate Jetson and then processing Lava to understanding what is really going on at the scene. So you can see, so if we are using the Tanya Mel to send the critical data, if the Tanya Mel didn't detect the person we set, we set as the, the task, so the GPU is almost uh, idle. When the vision AI sensor is not detect the person, so the GPU is not loading Llama models. When it detects the person, so that will be sent the frame to the Jetson and let Lava to understand what is the scene uh, with this person. So now it is saying abnormal behavior because we've configured it. So if someone is grab something, so that is abnormal. So now Betty is holding his camera, so that is abnormal. So this is how we use the Tanya Mel to do the detection first, and then the Lava to do the perception. And also we can work with the NORAD Home Assistant to do the control. So talking about the Lava 13B running on Jetson AGX Ori, so how we did that, I invited Dustin from NVIDIA and to talk about how we leverage Gen AI Lab and to deploy large language models on the Jetson. Hi, Dustin. Hi, thanks, Elaine, so much. And uh, this is great having you at GTC. Thanks for coming out. Um, so basically what we've done is really optimized Llama first to get that running as fast as possible. We can do that up to 47 tokens a second on, on Llama 7B, or I think it's like 25 for 13B. So we got that running really fast first, which is faster than you need for like a text chat. But the VLMs need a lot higher performance to be able to run in, in real time. So we got that super optimized first, and then basically input the camera stream into Lava and keep running the same prompt on it as quickly as possible. And it can be as simple as like describe the image, or you can ask it things like, what text is in the image? What am I holding up? Are there any people? Is there anybody doing like sign language? Is it safe to cross the street? Are there any hazards? You can, you can ask this thing anything just by typing in, in the question, um, which, which makes it really powerful because you don't need to do like bespoke object detector pipelines or, or things like that anymore. Um, and then, yeah, basically just run it as quickly as possible, output the text, and you can do other uh, integrations with this, with like vector database or retrieval augmented generation, uh, and build all types of vision agents based on that. Yeah, that's great. So besides the VLM models, so Gen AI Lab also provides the LLM and Vector Database and Whisper. So we will have work on that to integrate it into Home Assistant and, and also the NORAD as it's fully open source so and friendly to developers. So, so not only the AJAX are it also supports all in Nano, right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have, I think you said this one is running Lama, Lava 13B, but over Nano, we've optimized so we can run uh, Lava 7B, or um, at, at NVIDIA, we've collaborated with MIT and the Song Han Lab, and they've trained one called Vila, and they have a 2.7 billion parameter mini one that, that'll run on over nano at like one frame per second, which is actually like one FPS or like three FPS, like the AGX everyone can do. That's actually really good for this level of detail that, that you can get out of it. You don't necessarily need like the full frame rate, but we're like, the next generation Jetson and Thor and all that coming out, you'll see this like vastly accelerated even faster. Uh, but all the containers and the code and models for this are all completely open source. You can get it from Jetson AI Lab and Hugging Face Hub. Anybody can take this and put it on um, their, their ORIN or Jetson Nano and, and take it and 
uh, put it on like a robot camera or smart home assistant device, anything, and just be able to like program in the query and, and run it from there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So with the Gen AI Lab and also the Studio Wiki page, so we have documentation, tutorials, and also fun projects. So stay tuned with us with more models updated.